in the last video i talked about what a java means in this video i'm going to write some code for you to demonstrate the usage of java beans by the end of this video you'll have a good understanding of where to use these special type of classes in java and why are they so popular so java beans actually are used everywhere in java because for the simple fact that you can reuse them and you can use java beans to communicate between different layers of an application like for example you want to send data from the ui layer to the service layer you'll find java beans as the go to mechanism in such scenarios with with without further ado let's write in some code so let's take an example of of a learner class our entity here is learner right and learners have some specific properties like learners have names every learner has certain skills and every learner has an id for example so i'm creating a new class here i'll i'll appropriately call it learn in camel case l capital and all of the rest in smalls and i'll just finish so this would be my entity we even call it our dto that is the data transfer object because as i said we use java beans popul popularly between communication from a layer to the other layer so this is a class public class learner right and let me just put in a few properties here and as i said in the last video the instance variables of a java bean should be private because the instance variables are considered the state of your program they should not be allowed to be accessible publicly so i'll just say private and i'll just put in the type of the variable as int and let's call it id and then i'll say private string name because every learner would have a name as well as a set of skills so i'll say string skills right and then i'll just generate the getters and setters for this because as i told you a class is considered a java bean if it has private instance variables and public getter setters for them to be accessible and a no arc constructor so i'll just right click here in eclipse and go for the shortcut that is source and then generate getters and setters All right so the real thing with getters and set setters is that is they should be named the same as the variable name but the getters should be prefixed with the keyword get and then the setters with set otherwise the name should be the same in camel case but you have a shortcut in eclipse eclipse would do it for you right you just say select all i need the getter and setter for id optionally you can just select the getters or the setters right as well as for name and skills and i'll just click on generate see eclipse your good friend has done it for you right so it says the get id get id in camel case id has been prefixed with get as is name and as is skills right and the getters should not right it's a convention that says the getters should not take a parameter and they should return a type right the same the return type should be the same as the type of the variable that you're creating the getter for right and i'm just saying return name right and the setters should take a parameter of the same type for which you are creating the setter right and you should just do the mapping that is this dot name that means the instance variable name is equal to the local variable name and that is the same case with skills as well as with id right and then we should have a no r constructor so i'll just do it for you doesn't take a parameter now this class is a java bean guys there's no doubt about it why because it satisfies all those three properties the first one private instance variables as you can see on my screen a no r constructor and for all these private instance variables getters as well as setter methods now it is a handy situation why because the moment you would need let's say a new learner instance to be created right you can set their properties of those learners easily with the setters calling the setters and when you need to access a particular property of a learner you can just call the getter right and as i said you can use these java beans to communicate between different layers so i'll use java beans 
as we move on through this course a lot and i'm sure you will be using them as as well right so i hope this was a helpful video and i'll see you in the next video and as i said we'll now use java beans a lot